What's happening guys, Sam Adams here, and today we're talking about artificial intelligence, because that's been the talk of the town in 2023. We see ChatGPT, we see Bing getting in on the action, we even see Photoshop doing background generation for images. You can drop something in, isolate the part you want to keep, and then it will generate anything beyond that. It's getting really, really impressive. But Nvidia just showed off the first example of this happening in gaming, and it paints a pretty bleak picture if we're being honest, because they have this new demo that showcases a conversation with an NPC that is entirely generated by AI. You go up, talk to somebody, whatever you say automatically gets a response that's completely customized. This is not something that's scripted like what we see with NPCs in many modern games. Initially, this sounds impressive. Initially, it sounds cool. But then we see what it actually puts out. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Give it a look. Hey, Jen. How are you? Unfortunately, not so good. How come? I am worried about the crime around here. It's gotten bad lately. My ramen shop got caught in the crossfire. Can I help? If you want to do something about this, I have heard rumors that the powerful crime lord Kuman Aoki is causing all sorts of chaos in the city. He may be the root of this violence. I'll talk to him. Where can I find him? I have heard he hangs out in the underground fight clubs on the city's east side. Try there. Okay, I'll go. Be careful, Kai. So that's pretty much an example of what you could expect to see. We see these characters that are having these dialogue conversations back and forth, but it's nothing that's really substantial. It's nothing that's really impressive. It's just basically giving you a prop to go into the next mission. Now, the reasonable expectation here is that this kind of technology could be used in the indie space a bit more. If, say, a company doesn't have the money to bring a writer on board for their first indie game, this could be a really good way to bring in those base level conversations and make a game that's a little bit more engaging rather than just have something that has text on the screen. You can have these voices that come in, you could have stories, maybe for roguelike games, that are constantly being generated to where there really is no end to the game. I think about a game like Midnight Fight Club, where basically you just go in, you try to track down why you've lost your memory, but the core fundamentals of the game are that you're going after these crime bosses. So that could be something that could use this kind of technology, where you have an NPC giving you a task to go do, but there's just this constant endless stream of them. I talked about Rockstar and I want to bring up two examples of why writing and intentionality is so impactful in Rockstar games. It is the stories that make these games so memorable, but the side characters are also just as important. Not only the side characters, but within Rockstar games, the NPCs are incredible. And Red Dead Redemption 2 is a good example of that. But Grand Theft Auto V in the city of Los Santos comes to life thanks to these NPC conversations that are had on the side of a street. Whenever you're just walking around, you can find so many little nuggets and details that make this world impactful and that make it stand out. For example, this NPC conversation being had with a lawyer with somebody on the phone. All right, so we take senior citizens, really fucking poor ones, and put them through law school. I don't need you to tell me it's a good idea. I know it is. Make it happen. So that conversation is something that was written by somebody that was intentionally crafting this little side story. Now, did they probably pump out 20 of these in one day? Very potentially. But at the same time, that kind of stuff adds depth to a world. So if AI had been leveraged to have two people having a conversation at a coffee shop, High probability it would have been much less customized. High probability it would have sounded more generalized. It would have just felt bland. It would have made Grand Theft Auto, and again this isn't a dig, feel more like Watch Dogs, where it just is this world that exists rather than something that has been created with this quirkiness in mind that makes Grand Theft Auto so memorable to begin with. Now, an even better example of this is in Red Dead Redemption 2, where you can wander around the world and find so many little conversations that add a level of depth. These people that live in this world that Rockstar has created actually have lives, like this exact conversation right here. Leave. Leave and go where? I've lived here my whole life. Oh, life. This, this, this what you call this? This ain't no life. We got work. We are earning money. That's more than most. Barely enough to stay clothed and fed. I ain't going to work for the brain waste my entire life. Not like my pa, not like yours. My pa works for the grays. Oh, what difference does that make? The 
those two families, the way they treat us, their goddamn feud never gonna end. This is never gonna be our home. I can't well, take You think no it'll more. be better somewhere else? Just where will we go? Huh? St. Denis ain't far. <sighs> I hear tell they got these places there called tenements. You got the first idea how those people live? Uh, huh? Makes this look like uh, th a lap of luxury. The answer is no. Uh, so this conversation not only adds additional background to what's going on in the main story of Red Dead Redemption 2, but it also shows that there are people that are being impacted by the events going on in the story, these lives that are being lived. The future of this family's bloodline is literally being discussed right here, and it's all because we wandered around and found this intentionally created piece of dialogue. This is not something you would need to find in the game, necessarily. This is something you find and happen upon, and it's this little surprise and delight of you going through this world and finding nice little story beats. Now, that's not to say that AI is not going to have a spot in the gaming industry in the future. I think that AI written dialogue is, once again, going to be great for indie developers that might not be able to afford a writer, or the might not be able to afford a voice actor, that's going to be a good way to bridge the gap. But on top of that, in the AAA space, this could add an entire additional level of depth to the worlds that are being created. You've got the written dialogue that's created by a human for the main quest, the side quest, and even the NPCs like I showed from Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption 2, but then the AI generated stuff could fill in even more gaps there that we don't even know exist to create something that's truly a robust living open world. We're living in a very interesting time, and I think looking back, AI is definitely going to be one of those historical moments in technology that not only changed entertainment, but also how we live our everyday lives, if it is leveraged correctly. For the people that are concerned about the future of writing as a profession, there is nothing to worry about right now, but as this technology gets better and better, it's going to be number one, really interesting to see how it gets used, but number two, it's going to be interesting to see how we as an industry react to it. Of course, I'd love to know your thoughts down below. What did you think about that NVIDIA tech demo? Were you impressed by it? Or do you think that technology still needs some work before it makes its way into the games that we all play each day? But as always, thank you guys for checking out this video and I will catch you on the next one. Until then, keep on playing.